What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys what is single-handedly the best legendary farming location that you are going to find in Fallout 4. And the reason why it's the best is because you don't actually have to kill any legendary enemies to get the weapons. It's actually a chest farming location that is absolutely insane. I mean, you can see here by the gameplay in the background, it's just a simple matter of pretty much digging up a chest, checking out the legendary weapon inside. If you don't like it, you simply reload, dig up the chest again, and the weapon changes and you may get something you like. It's pretty much as simple as that. You just keep reloading, keep digging up the chest, until you eventually get a weapon that you do prefer to get. Now, we do want to give credit to a Reddit user known as Vanilla Fridge. He actually figured this out, and this is how I know about it. Uh, so, all credit going back to him. You can check out the Reddit post down in the description down below. And this works for the end game reward in the Far Harbor DLC expansion. Now, we do want to pre warn you guys there are spoilers up ahead. So, if you don't want spoilers, then it's up to you if you want to continue watching or not. But essentially, when you complete the final quest known as Close to Home and you bring Kasumi back to uh, Kenji Nakano, basically, he will then give you access to go ahead and dig up his little loot stash and basically before you dig it up if you go ahead and just make a quick save or a normal save uh, I prefer to make a quick save because I'm PC all I have to hit is simply the F9 key and it will simply load it up very quickly for me uh, but either way all you need to do is make a save once you've made a save dig up the chest check out the legendary weapon inside if you don't like it reload the save as soon as you reload the save dig up the chest again and it will give you a different weapon every single time and for the like I'd say 20 to 30 times times that I probably tried this it actually gave me some decent ish weapons I'm not gonna lie you can get explosive weapons from here you can get gorse rifles mini guns you can also get like you know any pretty much any weapon that you want from here and um, the only weapons that haven't really been seen so far are things like a fat man and a gatlin laser according to his reddit post as well from what he was trying as well I never come across any weapons like that neither but you know if you want to get some good legendary weapons and you're looking for a specific one trust me guys this is a perfect legendary farming spot for you I mean it's a freaking chest farming location. I definitely suggest you guys try this one out again. You know, it may end up getting patched. I don't know if Fallout I typically do patch stuff like this, but I do presume that they may end up doing so. You know, it's always good to just kind of think that way. And additionally as well, for you survival users, it's a little bit more tricky to do this. Of course, you do have to find a bed nearby. I didn't actually get gameplay of this, but according to the Reddit post again, uh, he stated for survival characters, there's a bed to the southeast on the red boat. I, I'm not too sure what's going on with that. And now the closest settlement is Coastal Cottage. So you can see here uh, is the closest settlement. So survival, it's a little bit more tricky, but it still works. So if, again, if you are looking for a good sort of farming spot for survival as well, uh, this does work. It'll just take a little bit more longer to actually get the farming into place. And again, if you want to know a really good farming location for survival mode characters, uh, there's a link down below. I actually did a video on a really cool legendary enemy farming spot as well, uh, which you guys can check out if you like. But that's pretty much it with the video. I wanted to share this with you guys today because it's awesome. As always, if this did help you guys out today and you do want to see more videos similar to this in the future, uh, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. I'll also have some form of a top five video, either top five best armor pieces in Far Harbor or top five things to know or something like that, hopefully coming out later on today as a second video. Again, hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.